Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching a video called NASCAR's Highest Flips. So I know that NASCAR is a car race. I, I don't really believe it's a car race actually. I think it's just a circuit like F1 or something like that. It's car racing. But I don't really know how like how the th whole thing works. If I'm not mistaken, I think I think it's a circle, right? Like the whole circuit is like a closed circuit, it's a race track. So it's not like they're roaming down the streets. And it's a circle. But because it's a circle, like I'm not that clear on like who's who's winning. Like someone someone has to win, right? But how do you like pass cars if it's oh my god, there's <laughs> there was a huge thunder and the whole thing light up. Um so yeah, so I don't really know how they actually like pass down cars because it's a circle, so like there's no space. But I, I don't really know. Maybe maybe it's like who goes the fastest? I, I, I'm not I'm unclear on that. But this is called like highest flips. So apparently cars also flip. I think that's that's unfortunate unfortunate. So probably it doesn't happen that often because I would guess you're you're out of the race, right? <laughs> but but maybe maybe that's the whole thing and and like it's it's a good thing i don't know so let's check it out comment like subscribe and start now been 30 races it's a ford see like everyone is just like in the same years. position so how come someone wins runs out of fuel in the middle of this man what a big wait you can run out of fuel now you can see that if somebody run out of fuel right there in the middle of that they're so close <laughs> this is so stressful we heard oh <gasps> down oh oh my god he just crashed completely Oh my god, oh my god, it's been so hot! Amos Ambrose, Ambrose is there, comes across. Oh my god. This car comes to rest upside down on Is that man okay? And watch a car get turned around. Oh my god, that's so dangerous. Oh, yes. He and his teammate, Tony Stewart. What is wall, that guy doing? As soon as it does. <laughs> oh my god, that's what happened. <gasps> it's completely, it's completely vertical. Oh, and he led. He landed on top of the other guy. Forced his way to the middle. Oh, so he's trying to pass the white car. I think was trying to pass the other. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! This is so dangerous! Ah! Oh, look at the green car! Ah! Oh my god! This is this is so stressful. Oh my god, like he win this race. No surprise to He me just went over to the other side of the track. Happened. It just was a very aggressive push. Yeah, it was a very aggressive. Was trying to help. Ooh, look at Matt yeah. Crafton up and over. And he just crashes against he other cars in the process. In the middle of the mess. You, you know, you want to watch it. You can't like seeing this because one of those two lines of cars behind you is going to start to move, and you have to guess which one. Well, that's why he's doing what he's doing. Oh. Oh, it was, oh my, how come they're all, oh, okay, they all end up vertical, how does that happen? <gasps> it's just traumatizing, oh my god, the car, the car's completely wrecked. Okay, guys, back it down, back it down, we're not racing, there he is, right in the middle. And these guys are Dyson, go ahead, BP. And there he makes contact, he comes down trying to get in front of Kurt Busch, they make contact, and watch that thing fly. And the car is like an M&M &M car. <laughs> no, this is awful. And when it gets onto the racetrack again, it takes another nasty flip. There's like another, another huge thunder. That's the hard one right here. Oh man! Look at all those car pieces. He'll swing wide to the outside. De Benedetto will do the same. Now Harvick finds himself in the middle with minimal drafting help. Elliott leads the lane down. He's going to. Oh, oh no! But they're. I thought it was going to crash into the guy that came behind. On the roof of the car, the car is spinning wildly out of control. Now it flips back out. Oh my God! Others okay, he into okay at least. Others evade Joey Logano, who goes for a tumble at the end of the. Yeah, but he ends up in four. Like he ends up okay. End of the back straight away when Joey Logano got turned and immediately the car began to get airborne. When it did, it went all the way yeah, in the air and it came down on the roof of the car. The car then uh, this is like the finals of gravity on the banking with everybody scattering to avoid bread avoiding yes collected, but at least everyone avoided him got right it back on all four <laughs> yeah, wheels yeah. and then slid they to the right bottom of the it, it, it's kind of funny of like could have been worse to the bottom of the racetrack Hitler Hart Jr. trying to stay in front of the pack 
They work their way through three and four. Into the triumph they come. Dale Hart Jr. to the bottom of the track. They were all so Jr. close together. Oh my god, I saw I saw the fire. And the thing like yes, it looked like it exploded. It's on fire! Like it's literally on fire. Oh my god, okay, like this is a disaster, complete disaster. How do you even continue the race after this? Rex starts in front. He runs in the back of the 24. Yeah, what? Gets up on the 11. What happened? He's on top of the 55, and now it's just a long bit of run. Yeah, but how come the other the other cars are on fire? And it goes from, I don't know, what, 180, 190 miles an hour? I'm just guessing. To this is so fast. Stop. That is <gasps> oh my god, Edith. Like, like the, the the protective fence, it's done. Like it's wrecked. Stock car is extremely heavy. You see here. Oh my God! The other car hit him. Obviously, he's already lost control. Makes more. Oh my God! In the green car. He jumped down the inside. It's putting him up in the third place. While ago, we saw Jarek and Earnhardt were capable of pull away a little bit. They're trying. Oh. Oh. Rusty Wallace is ah. Rusty Wallace oh my God! Look at all that dirt. Oh my god, the car, it doesn't even look like a car anymore. I can't believe there's people driving these cars. No, he's going to turn over! Ah. Yeah. Oh my god, they were... Uh, Jesus. I can't believe, like, are those people alive? Searching his first. On it now. Three to go. Oval, first oval track win. He won it in Finneon 96 races ago on the road course. And who do you How come there's two? Oh. And the 99 has two. Oh. Oh, okay. Kozlowski. He's. Oh, wait. And he's cute. He's still driving this? My goodness. Uh, I don't know if I'm okay. No. Okay. Like, yeah. The car. The car stopped. Because. <laughs> yeah. Like. Kozlowski oh, this... on track for. It, it sucks. But that was kind of funny because, like, oh. Told there was contact between Edwards and. <laughs> There's so much smoke coming out of the engine. A little crossover move here by Carl. Clean here, clean here. Just slight contact. Oh yeah, it's the green. Yeah, the green car hit him. Get that thing go. <laughs> so like it's incredible that the car ended up like Edwards on four wheels and it's driving. Like it's driving a few meters. It really did. Oh, but why? Oh my god, the other one. I saw a tire, like, just fly over. Oh my god. Okay, everyone's crashing it against each other. Oh my god, but how come he... That blue car, I think, was the guilty one. Look what he cost. Oh, and there's like that red car that's like, oh, and the white car is trying to like swivel. Complete this time by and look at this pack. Trouble off trouble board. Trouble. Newman slams the wall. Mark oh, oh, man. Comes straight Ooh, and oh, the almost. Oh, my. Uh, oh, he's getting into the track again. Oh, I can't believe how wrecked this car is, Gad. It's completely upside down. Kenny Schrader got but how can he? Got into him. Oh, it's, that's what happened, Mike. His right rear tire came off. Car goes airborne. Then when it yeah. hits the ground, it digs in and just rips it apart. He doesn't even look like a car. Let me tell you, the way these cars are inside, he's like he's in a capsule in there. Here they come off the court. That's court. awful. Leads him down now. Is he going to win the Winston 500? Jimmy Spencer is second. They come through the trioval. Checkered is waving. Ernie Evan wins and Rusty Smith and gets there. Oh my, oh my God. <sighs> right at the start finish line. Very <gasps> Okay, the thing flew over so many kilometers. Down on the inside. Trying to that was insane. Rusty and go right out the picture and it looks there he is Earnhardt right up on the back bumper of Rusty and he does touch no this is insane and around he goes and that's one reason that Dale Earnhardt went down he was that's flying like literally flying in the air this 
situation it looks like. And the sleep so okay, so about like six or seven times. Six or seven, yes. Knows. Does anybody have anything left for the race leader? Ryan Newman all turn four. Checkered flag is waving at the start finish line. Who will get here first? Newman down. He's no, he hit it. Yeah, he clipped him. Lady Denny ah. across the line. Denny Hamlin will go back to back. Newman My God, it's fire. Start finish line. Ah, because it's metal on pavement. Finish here is. I'm so scared. I think it's going to blow up. Oh my god. Okay. That we know exactly when the caution flag came out. Oh my god, there's fire. Please get out of here. Here at Daytona, boy, it all broke out coming off turn number 4. Newman got turned and uh, Denny able to get by, Blaney able to get by. Uh all of our attention down there will update you there. I can't believe uh, like the, the other cars are Excuse, still yeah, like Newman in a they have to keep driving. It's back to back for Denny Hamlin. Let's go to pit road. All right, it is a magnificent chess game that is being played here. Oh, trouble! trouble. Ricky Rudd slamming toward the wall. Crash oh, he's oh no, he's gonna crash over. Ah, ah! It looked like a tornado, like a tornado in the middle of a track. Oh, but he did, he ended up on four wheels. Ricky Rudd. Not that bad, I think. Out of control, side over side several times. And he's he's up a little bit higher. If you notice, he's up pretty high coming off that corner. Now, if Riddle hit him, I don't know. He could have touched him right there because all he had to do was just get a little sideways. But it looks like the car just got a little sideways. And just uh, yes. the cars running that close together, even if you don't touch them, the wind acts like you hit each other. And uh, all he had to do was break the car loose and... Then when these cars get sideways, they're bad about doing just what this you see. Uh, uh, it it's spinning like so, a like, at a high speed. Lucky. If that 09 can okay, no more wheels. <laughs> he was technically on four wheels. Hard to get him. It's going to be close right here at the line. Can Kozlowski try to win it? I don't know. I don't think he can step out until he waits till the last second and picks he up. Goes he goes to the outside. Is Edwards going to oh, lose? No. Oh. No. No. Oh, and that's oh. the front end. Oh no, Newman's no, the other guys are. Ah! Make it to the flag. Oh, Brad Keselowski won this race. Unbelievable. Carl Edwards' car. What's that a person? And Junior's protege, Keselowski, the winner. Is, is, is he trying to get out? Moving around and ready to climb out. Yeah. The 09 is going to look to the outside where he already has. Carl went up to block him a little bit. Now he's going to come down to try to block him again. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Get he's going so, so fast, it. then just a little touch is going to make you spin. Watch oh, my God. It's going to be like a fr Oh, my God. He just destroyed the other. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. The guy, the people in the audience must have been so scared that the you thing know, is going to, like, crash over to you. The catch fencing that held. The, yes, the catch and fencing. I did not see any debris go into the grandstand. It could have uh, been. That certainly is. Unbelievable. It's very gratifying to see. It's so dangerous. Okay. Oh my god. I felt. I feel like I'm. <laughs> I feel like I just ran the race with them. I. I have so many. I think I have so many questions. It wasn't like I thought it was because now I think. I think I kind of understand what it is. Like they're all in a circle because I don't think you can like pass. Like there. There must be like a, a time and, and a specific time where you can like pass the other cars. And that's why they're all like so close together. It's not like a race, like I don't just like, like a normal race where you're just like no one, no one is like that close together. Or maybe it is. I don't really know much about car racing, but I would assume that in car races, like someone, of course, like it, it's it's ahead, and then the others are like way behind. But in this, you you have like a, a safe amount of distance. But in this one, I don't know if it if it, if it is because of the way the track is. Like it's around, it's round, it's it's a circle, and it's maybe not that not that wide. Everyone seems like so close together that it's like the tiniest, the tiniest like mistake can cost us. So it's so incredibly dangerous. I know that car races tend to be obviously are not like the safest thing in the world, but this seems like an incredibly dangerous and even more dangerous than other car races I've seen. Because it's not just the speed, it's it's the amount of... Because again, you're so close and just like the tiniest move can make you like spin around in the air. And th those car wrecks, like especially like the first one, it looked like so awful. I'm like, is that is that driver okay? Like, did he make it out alive? Because the things are... It, it's quite scary. I don't really know how people like... How drivers like do this and they still keep driving. 
and after like this terrible car car wreck like you're still just get up and you're like yeah sure i'll do this again in a few weeks or do they end up with like cracked bones or or injuries i want to know like how the actual like like your driver's seat like how is it they must have obviously a lot of protective gear but like it's it's like the inside of the car like how is it is it like a normal car because I, I don't even know like how could how can you protect yourself it must be so scary especially when you're like looking at the car like this and when it's like spinning but it's like this you're like how must it feel if you're like driving the car and you're inside of it and you're just like looking down below and you're like oh my god i'm so high or when the, the guy that was spinning like a tornado it must be like the scariest experience ever i don't really know what this guy's get up and do this again after an experience like this they're like yeah sure like i'll just do it it's it seems insanity to me and i don't really know again obviously you don't want to crash other cars obviously you don't want to touch them but it seems to be quite common so i don't really know how how common it is this makes it seem like it is very common although maybe it isn't but they, this, these guys have to be like incredible drivers again because they have to keep their distance and know how to pass and when to pass each other in a way that doesn't create like this massive car crash and also like the other guys imagine there's like a car flying over you or like in the middle of the track and you still have to drive and you're like ah you're like it's it's like a video game or something that you just have to like ah you have to struggle to like avoid it but at the same time it's like there's like cars flying it's it, it's gotta be like an insane experience but but yeah i love this hopefully you enjoyed it as much as i did and i'll see you soon bye